right, here we go. Let's see how the Instagram ads hold up. Oh, dude! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys aren't as seen on TV Flip, welcome to ADHD's Life. I hope you guys are enjoying your stay here. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you subscribe right now for a limited time offer and you turn on the bell notification, you will be getting for free notifications whenever a new video comes out. Do not miss it right now on screen. Camera Flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack. I was you're... about to flip it before, but then I was like, he just kept going. You better not interrupt my problem. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I waited. But today's video, what we are going to be doing is right here. We got the crate out drum. Give me, give me the, uh, the, the big drum you gave the last time. The what? The Phil Collins. This box is full of assing on TV products. All right. Okay. <laughs> This entire crate right here, Rep Pack, is filled with a bunch of as seen on TV survival products. These are products that claim to be able to help you out in a pinch in different situations, but they came from those stupid infomercials we all see, okay? Stuff like that, basically. So we're gonna be popping this open and we're gonna be seeing what kind of, what five as seen on TV survival products do we think would actually help in a survival situation? And considering everything going on right now, Tuesday prepping, as seen on TV edition, only on TV. Don't go anywhere else to see it. All right, let's pop this thing open and see what we got here. All right, the unboxing knife is here. Oh, oh that's just disrespectful. Did you just leave it out in the rain? I did leave it out in the rain. That's but the thing is, Parker, what? that can survive anything. There was a tornado, a tundra, and an earthquake. While the tornado was happening, the knife would have been like, bro, what's up with all this breezy wind? <laughs> I, all right. Yeah. I don't think so. Yes. Okay. You're going to regret that soon. You notice how Milwaukee's the only one unaffected right now? Are they? I don't know. I meant the knife exclusively. Oh. <laughs> this thing open. Let's see the first product we got in here is. All right, here we go. Let's pop it off. Ladies and guys, I don't know what the As on TV products are and what they relate to as far as survival goes, but I know this feels like As on TV blistering. And that is it right there. Tack Wallet. Bell Howells. That's actually his name. Howell. Oh, Howell. Right here we got the Tack Wallet. It says fiber resistant fabric. So it's telling me it's fireproof. It's flame resistant. Not fire. Oh, flame resistant. It's probably, it's probably different somehow. Oh, maybe. That would have been great if they would have sold those a neck brace and an armband. <laughs> <laughs> it also has a key ring a lanyard. Jesus, hold it to five credit cards. Built-in hidden compartment. Uh, my, my thing is like, are you? Why are you holding that many credit cards when you are at risk for some sort of flamethrower? <laughs> the thing is, Parker, is whether there's a flamethrower coming at me, and that's like a war crime or not. Still got to be able to make, pay that credit bill. All right? <laughs> I can survive a flamethrower. I cannot survive the debt in the IRS. Okay? <laughs> they are ruthless. That's the real war crime. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Pop this thing open and see what we got here, dude. This wall smells like chemicals. I wouldn't put that close to your mouth or your nose, especially during these times. Oh. All right, so let's check the wallet out. This thing feels pretty barren. I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty simple. But right now there's a huge issue going on in the world where people take credit card information and you won't even know it's happening. You could literally be at your gas station and somebody could have a, an NFC scanner and scan your card straight out of your wallet while you're paying for something. But this thing right here claims that it also protects from that. It also has a keychain that also happens to be stab and impact resistant. Well, I hope all those things are real because the way that thing looks, it looks like I'm back in eighth grade. It looks like <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna see, is it? fire resistant and we're also gonna be putting Parker's wallet contents in it. Uh, no. I guess not. Okay. Well I don't have any wallet contents either so. Well give me that doll you got. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright so we got the torch out. Go ahead and spark it. Come okay. over here first. Well really still. Alright go for it. It's not, it's not a sparker. It Parker with the, the big with the, with the light. <laughs> with the li it's Piter with the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got Parker with a big big right there. Whatever you think, where the world's at right now, we've been through a lot. We've all been through so much, and people are going to go through so much. But just look at all reliable. <laughs> Everybody can be grateful that you can get through anything and still stay standing. What we're going to do, we got the money in there right now. Let's check it out. Let's see how it is doing. It is all in there. We're going to close this down. I'm going to go just a little quick brush over, all right? All right. Well, I so mean, what do you, you think know, is your survival rate? Do you think if I put it over five seconds, pull it out, the money's good? Well, you said brush over. Over, I'm thinking 100%. Okay, three seconds, three seconds, in the fire, in the flame. I, I'll have faith in it, three, All right. three seconds, yeah. Parker has faith in it, I'm saying three seconds, you're gonna already see. I think it's on fire now. <laughs> Let's try it out, Let's see, three seconds. One, two, three, out. You know what? A regular wallet would have probably been done so. I lost my keychain. <laughs> But let's see, is the money good? So, if I, let's say I was running, right? There's a fire going on, I tripped, and I slid on my pocket <laughs> through just the flame. Just everything, you just only land on your pocket. <laughs> only landed, slide on my wallet through this abyss of flame. Would it be okay? The wallet, the bucket is Dude, the money is all good in here. Everything's good. It's warm. Talk about hot cash. All right, I'm going for a full 10 seconder. Let's see what happens. Did the fire get bigger? It did. I don't know if the fire got bigger or if the intensity got larger. Three, 
two, one out. Okay, dude, if that survives and the money is good, I'm gonna say, you know what, it's okay if my whole body's burnt. If my boy dollars is cool, sure. Yeah, and there's one square of my leg. <laughs> it, it looks bad. What started that way? Dude, no way. Dude! <laughs> Dude, that was 10 seconds oh, in the flame. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a pass. Okay. Dude, I always start these videos out and I'm like, this is gonna be stupid. And then it's sick. And then I look stupid. But that's not new either. What we're gonna do. All right, now would you trust to put your license in here? No. Okay. Because it's oh. <laughs> What? Your license is already in there, Burger. What? It's okay, such a license. It's, <laughs> it's a driver permit. But you still have, we be, you gotta get it out. You have, you have money in it. That's I illegal. know. I'm gonna let it just go for a bit. I'm gonna give it the intensity. We're gonna go ahead and lock this down. I'd say, what, what do you do? That's a federal offense. Oh, there we go. You can't burn money. It's a federal offense. I didn't burn it. What you do you mean were the you one that did it? I was just standing what are you there. Talking about? I was standing there with a steady flow of gasoline, and somebody came Propane. along and was like, uh, fire you. Play back. Look, come over here first. Oh, really still. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Remember that? Oh, I'm a criminal. How do I tell my mom? I, 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 I call me Pablo Escobar because I'm burning money, apparently. Yes, you are. You're a criminal, okay? All right. Is the money good, though? That is the question. All right, Parker, go ahead and grab it. <laughs> okay, Marcus, some of that boiling water. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's pop it open. <laughs> Let me pop it open. <laughs> hey! I have money! If I put those two together. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong side. Dude, you know what, though? That was like the worst scenario ever. All right, what do you... I said the pass, though. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a seal of approval on screen just because I'm dumbfounded that it worked at all. All right, let's see what's next in the box. All right, next up, let's see. One thing involves something hot. This one involves something cold. It says cool. cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Not, not cold. Cool. It's different. There's di there's levels to this. Cold is like, I don't know who's cold. Okay. Bars. I'm not sure bars. Somebody else is cold. LeBron James. <laughs> cool is like Nicodine. <laughs> right here, let's check it out and see what it actually does. It says breeze a blast, personal air cooler. One blast of cool air anytime, anywhere. <laughs> one? Is this, just say one? Like one blast? Like, I said one. To, no, okay, I was like, you have to choose. Well, it says a. a is still very singular. A blast of cool air. Let's go ahead and pop it open and we'll figure this thing out too. The last one was a little bit better than expected. Maybe the same thing for this one. Damn, it's cold in here, dude. Feel that. I'm serious. You joking? No. Oh my, it's actually, <laughs> actually cold. No, I'm not joking. Like that's, that was actually cold. You can see, you can actually see the, the condensation. Yeah, it builds up on the sides. Yeah. I don't know why it was that cold to start with. That is literally out of the box. So the thing is, it's probably, this has been in my car actually. So this has been in my Ooh. car. What has happened is it's getting so cold on the inside of my car, it freezes the core, but getting out of the car on the outside, you got exposed to the outside temperature. That's not making the simple thing. It's not very scientific. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop it open. So essentially, what this should be is a anywhere you go type of air conditioner. But there's one catch. What's the one catch? I gotta put these in the freezer real quick. One sec. Alright, so I figured out this works. And you know this is actually for drinks? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a travel mug, man. I thought it was just an AC that was just shaped like a thing to go in your cup holder or something. <laughs> It actually does something. So right here, you take these ice cold skateboard wheels, you put them in there just like that. And now, now I ask you another question. Have you ever been somewhere where you were just like, God, it's hot. Yeah, we're in California, that's how it is. Besides here, I'm saying I name a, name a notably hot place that you've been though. Like I'm, I'm talking about the hottest place I've ever been was Africa and I was at a swap meet. Two things that are hot. Africa, freaking swap meet, the hottest occasion and activity to do. <laughs> and you put those together, you are hotter than hell, okay? You've never been to Africa. Fuck, I'm from Africa. You're from Africa. What? Everybody from Africa, Parker. No, no, I've been to Africa, okay? I've been to a swap meet, though. I've not been to a swap meet. All right, so what you do is once you have it like this, now the next question is, you pop open your drink. Have you ever asked, God, I'm hot, but my drink is so freaking fresh and cold. How can I be as cold as my drink? I'm gonna die of a heat stroke, but my drink is fresh. Somebody just poured it. Usually when that happens, I just kind of put the bottle to my head. Parker, that's not how this works, okay? What? They made this for a reason, okay? This is for this, okay? You get the drink. He's broke it. He's broke it. Okay, so once you've got the batteries in, you pour your drink, but notice how they designed the ice cubes? Kind of like a little bit of a funnel. So that way all the coldness comes out like a pipe. That's fun. Yeah, coldness pipe. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna pour the cold drink in there, fill that up. This particular drink is vitamin water. Did you know you can drink enough vitamin water to kill yourself? What? Yeah, go to overdosing oh. the water. It's called drowning Parker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now you take the drink that is cold. You take your body that is perspirating with heat and you go ahead and you take the lid and you twist that sucker on there, and now watch this. Let me shake it up a little bit. Oh! Oh! What the hell's leaking? Putting my drink at me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I think I put too much drink. <laughs> ha ha! Now do you feel the breeze? No, I actually don't. I... Now do you feel the breeze? 
He's like still spitting on me. Might be you. Oh. Why do have to put it that close? Oh. I think he broke it. What's the time he turned upside down? Oh! What the f Ow, I broke it. All right, so the next item that is coming out of here did not come from As Seen on TV, but it's like the new America's TV, right? And people spend way more time on this. It is. It's a website. You take pictures. It's been around for years. And people call it the Graham. It's the, come on. Instagram. It's Instagram, Parker. I know you go on it because whenever you're in the bathroom, it's a 15 minute trip. Okay, Mr. Instagram. That's called Mr. Prank. Uh, though. <laughs> That's called Mr. Respectfully Cleans Up. <laughs> well, despite that, <laughs> either way, most people are spending a lot of their time on the gram, okay? But when we're scrolling through looking at the hunties, okay, we see items all the time. At least for me, I see all types of survival gimmick tactics all the time. Some of them are, as you guys know, are absolute trash. And one of them is a survival machete they have on there. You guys have got it in your Instagram timeline. It is the survival multi camo machete. They have a guy showing this rainbow machete. He shows it side to side, so is the rainbow. But looks all nice and pretty. But there's a man who, who has ordered a lot of these things. I clicked on the website and I saw one thing. I saw one thing only. Direct shipping from China. So I washed my hands. <laughs> Several times. And then after that, I realized this is a scam. So, or it could be a scam. We're going to find out. Let's see it out. I got two different camos of the five that they had as an option. Let's see what we got here. All right. They feel pretty sturdy. Let's, let's go ahead and get them out. Hey. Okay. They are camo. They're not wrapped. Like, they weren't even wrapped. <laughs> they were just put in there. They were just put in there. There's, there's no sheets. No nothing. <laughs> just this. But I will say that the camo is pretty fresh on them. I will say though, guys, as somebody who buys a lot of these products, I can tell you guys get the exact same sword. You do not have to pay the price of $39.99 for them. You can get this exact same sword on eBay for like $15? So that alone was enough information for me to say scam. But why did you buy them on eBay? I, I didn't buy them on eBay. I was a sucker. I bought them on I Instagram. Know, I, so why didn't you? I didn't buy them on eBay because I wanted to be authentic for the video. But either way, it would have been the same product, so I don't know why I didn't just save the money. People paying more for authenticity? Sounds about right. Yeah, what do you think I have all these Gucci shoes on, Parker? These aren't vans, these are Gucci thrifters, all right? I don't own anything expensive. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm cool. I've got a breeze brass personal air cooler. <laughs> I also know that you got the Supreme Oreos. I did get the Supreme Oreos and I sold them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see how the Instagram ads hold up. What do you think is going to do more damage? If you've played any video game, you should know. This one on the right has a hex camo, or this one right here that is just like basic steel. You know, I can make a joke here, but all my years of Call of Duty are just, you know, telling me that camo is how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. All those hours of prestige are for nothing, okay? <laughs> Let's do it. Three, two, one, survival machetes. <laughs> I don't want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> that merch doesn't exist anymore. If you want to pick up the new merch, check it out down below and also the Super Smoother merch down below as well. The next merch, I want you guys to comment down below. Who do you guys want to see in it more? Would you like to see a Froggy Fresh and Limited Design or would you like to see a Stretch Armstrong one? Let me know down below. I want to give both of them their own independent designs. Let me know down below. All right, here we go. Last two. Oh. Ooh, big boof. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm not giving them a pass because of the flimsiness, but for 30 bucks on freaking Instagram, I gotta say, go to eBay. <laughs> Let's see what's next in the box. All right, this next product claims to be able to turn any liquid into energy. What? <laughs> That's what it says. We got the Hydro Light. It runs on water. So this is a light that needs no batteries. Apparently it runs on water. I do not buy that for one instant. And my second question is, what if it is not water? Oh, okay. What about something with some electrolytes? Ooh. Okay, yes, okay. literal electrolytes. And if water, Maybe. water like lights it up, what, what makes it light down? Uh, alcohol. alcohol. It kills people. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes lights are in. Sometimes when you drink a little alcohol, lights are out. So you can just go ahead and use this right here, put any liquid in it and turn it into light. Hypothetically, let's pop this thing open and see if you can literally, because I mean, if this works, this is like one of the most clutch things of all time because not in every situation you have a fire starter and you start a light, not every time you have your iPhone through the flashlight, but if you can just find a puddle of water, you can essentially turn it to energy for a light source. And if that works, the world is endless of the things water can do. It could probably clean things, hydrate people. Who knows what it can do? But let's see how great water really is. All right, so we're popping this thing open. Right here, this is the charger 
you guys it turns into a flashlight or a lantern. I don't know how to work it yet, so we gotta get this. Wait a minute, dude. I think I was right. What? It turns this thing into a giant. Look, that's like a battery head, right? Oh, yeah. And then check it out inside here. It's like this thing turns into a giant battery. <laughs> All right, let's pop this thing open and see how we actually get the water in there. I don't even know how you can get the water in there with a the battery taking most of the space. All right, so this thing is like the most insane thing of all time. So it turns out you just dip this in the water for 10 to 12 seconds. You put it back in here, you shake it, and it should light. Shake it, then put it back in there. Oh, shake it, then put it back in here, and then light, light, power. But check this out. This thing says it can run for days on one water dip. Bruh. That's, I can't even run a mile without a water dip. That's insane. <laughs> so we are gonna dip this in there right now. We are gonna see if this thing right here can actually turn water into a power source. Because the thing is, part and part, we're talking off camera. If this works, how is this not just in every home of America? How do I not flush and that water gets turned into electricity for my bikes? That sounds like a great idea. It would be amazing, but none of these things are happening. <laughs> but, but this is the first step. <laughs> but we gotta like, let's go and dip that in there. 12 seconds. But imagine guys, if this is sitting in there, if this works from water, I mean, water is obviously a very, very hard resource to find in certain circumstances. So if we could turn water, even unclean water into energy, the limits are endless. All right, so we're taking this thing out. I think it's got its charge. What I'm gonna do is shake it of all the excess water. My, I need that, a that mop. Was, that was a lot. There's a lot of excess water. It's just so more. Don't touch that water, you get electrocuted, all right? So let's go ahead and take this battery. We're gonna go ahead and slide that puppy right. What? Did you see? Hey, that's not a lot of light, but that's a light from I'm, water. So it can act as a flashlight or a lantern. How? How is this happening? How would I just dip it in a cup of water and I am having light? All right, the lights are out. And now I'm going to tell you the most eco-friendly story of all time. <laughs> but can it turn into a lantern? Hey, oh. I'm done, dude. I'm done. <laughs> That is, that is, that is light. So, take this for a, take this with a grain of salt, guys. Again, I know this is simply a light, but the thing is, this is water. If I was like, God forbid, anybody in the rep pack, anybody end up a hard time, and you're homeless, you have a tent, and you need a power source, a power source, something for light, so you can see in your tent, a dip in a puddle to get you hours of light. It's insane. I'll take this over any Coleman lantern. <laughs> All right, I'm giving this one seal of approval on screen too. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. I'm giving that one a pass though. All right, so now we're gonna try with a little electrolytes and see if it makes any difference. All right, it's got a little rain water out here. It might get a little extra charge, but getting the Gatorade out of here safely. Now, let's go inside and see if the Gatorade battery does anything different. All right, let's drop it in and see if it changes. Do you think it's even a light now? It says it works on any type of, li type of liquid. It said liquid, right? Or any kind of water. It said liquid. Are you sure it said liquid? It said liquid and I'm seeing liquid. Okay, so it turns out Gatorade, ah, what's up? That weaker, it works, kind of. It kind of, it works, kind but, of. but yeah. I think if you put in something stronger, like gasoline might be stronger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last item I got on here, I just could not believe, and that was as seen on TV, handcuffs. Okay. What the hell's the difference like, between that normal handcuffs? That's what I was saying. But the thing is, is that normal handcuffs, you cannot buy handcuffs. Handcuffs are actually a thing that is reserved for law enforcement and people of that caliber. But right here, these are freaking handcuffs that claim to be unbreakable and also to be at the same scale as the police ones, the freaking prisoners of war ones, and all kinds of freaking handcuffs, right? So they're saying that the ones for police are supposed to be unbreakable? They're saying that these ones are like that. Let's pull them out. I don't know where they want to go or where to go with from here, but designed for official police use, yet I'm apparently supposed to own this. <laughs> I want to see though, is can you really order online? They, they are supposed to be black. As seen on TV, handcuffs, and they be strong as criminal handcuffs. All right, go ahead and put your wrist in there. You, no, you do it. Go ahead, man, come on, you're on the camera. I can't be doing the, the, the thing and that thing. I'm filming. All right, fine, I'll do it. So we lock it down like this. Very tight, very tight. Just that, that's tight enough. Uh, All right. no, very, very tight. Ah! Ah, it was one clamp too many. Ah! Right. <laughs> now, go ahead and take that key. Hey, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, put your other hand in there. Hey, man, that'll be stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and let me out real quick? Please. Can't do the time, don't do the crime. I didn't do any crime. I'm paying for this time. So you can't, you can't eat the, <laughs> if you can't eat the line, then you're getting framed for the crime. What if I had a dime? That'd be sublime. All right, I should just go to a couple jail for my crime. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to unlock myself. I just wanted to confirm it. Let's pop it open, and here's the challenge. What's the challenge? Me versus you. Okay. Whoever can break out of these cups will go down in history as the Unbreaker. Okay. I know you want that title. I, yeah, I got two. Right. I, have, I have two titles already. So. Here we go. Was Ice King, Fire King, and Freezer, Loser of Hands. 
handcuff king. Okay, so now I want you to open that and lock this hand in. All right, the other handcuff is going on. All right, for the love of God, don't lose that key. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a very, very difficult next few days to lose that key. All right, we came out here in the rain. So that way I could be, ah, like Bane, burst out of him. Are you ready for this? All right, three, two, one, go. Boom! 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 People up in the mountains are like, I just heard three booms. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it one last go. Oh, this can make dude. any man look weak. <laughs> dude, I gotta say, I mean, it didn't look like it did much. That's because I had no give. All right, so, I mean, I'm not the strongest person in the world. So, I'm gonna try my, I tried my best. Now, let's see if Parker can break out of them. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and say, these are five dollars. Oh my God. And I can't break out of them. So let's see if Parker can bust out of them. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and say, survivalistic handcuffs needed for five dollars? Right there. If Parker can't break out of these, these are might actually some legitimate handcuffs. All right, so how's it feeling? It hurts. It Hurts. I'm trying to tell you, dude. That's police brutality. They be putting those cuffs right around your wrist bone, so where even if you wanted to escape, it hurts more. Yeah, you could get out, but you have no pan. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, dude, this freaking hurts. And then this one is way higher than the one on my left. One. <laughs> can we tighten that left one real quick? No. All right. Dude, this one hurts. Let's see if you can break out of it. If you can break it out, you will be officially the unbreaker. Yo, you be like Exodia. Yo, he has the shackles on his arms. Need this title. Yes, Exodia. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot. You guys, it didn't look like much, but there was a lot going on. It's impossible. You can't do it. You cannot. <sighs> Nobody can break them. That's what I'm saying, dude. These are $5 ones, and they're not even the official ones. Oh, my God. So, now do you have some respect for the police, Parker? All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys click the like button and check out the next video. All right, let's see what we got. I don't know why you made me do it myself. <laughs> freaking help me. Oh, Jesus. That's what I'm telling you guys. It, they are on there tight and they create a lot of resistance. You have no choice but to break your wrist to get out. All right, Rat Pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button. I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home right now. So I would really appreciate it if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell button so you guys do not miss a video when it goes out. And also check out the merchandise down below, guys. Right now, with all this stuff going down, I am not gonna lie, it has been very, very hard to make content. So if you guys have, I know also money is tight right now, but if anybody wants merch, has been looking to get merch for a long time, now is the best time to buy it. So merch will be down below. But check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last epic as seen on TV video. That will put you on a playlist of all the insane as seen on TV products. There has been a lot of insane ones, some good, some incredible. I'll let you guys see that over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Bloop. All right, can you, can you help me get these off? No, thanks. No. Just, uh, you wanna go talk to you really threw them over there? I threw them over there a while ago. I, I'm, I, I can't see like this.